the A of grace, which is attunement. Attunement meant, you know, are you kind of in touch with what's going on? So before we walk into the room to care for our person, how, how am I today? How am I doing physically? How am I doing emotionally? You know, what are your narratives? What are your stories about what's going on? We have preconceptions and stories about the person we're caring for. I call it, it's nice to know who's walking into the room with me when I walk into the room. I don't mean other people. I mean, what version of me is walking into the room to be with these people? Like, is it me that was up all night? Is it me that's sleep deprived? Is it me that has a migraine headache? Is it me that has any of these things affect who I am, how I talk, how I behave? They do, how not? This is my physical being that I live in. Uh, you know, we can blow them off. We can ignore them. And probably we usually do. Doesn't hurt to notice this is happening. It is affecting me. Just noticing it, not trying to have a magic wand that'll fix things that are there anyway. The second one, how am I doing emotionally? Well, that could mean a million things too. It might be, well, I'm really still upset about the argument we had this morning. Maybe I think, oh, Tom's going to be angry with me when I tell him that we've got a doctor's appointment coming up. <laughs> this is so irrelevant. Like, you shouldn't be angry at me. But he, I have this story that he's going to be, right? I've preset this in my mind how he's going to be. So these stories I have, not helpful, especially if I have an assumption about how someone else is going to feel, probably affects them. We all affect each other, right? So, so that's the first half of the attunement practice of grace. I want to ask you to gently allow your eyes to close or your gaze to drop and imagine your person that you care for. Just imagine them and imagine you're about to go into a room and make them lunch or give them their meds or whatever you're going to do or just say, how are you doing right now? But imagine you're about to and you haven't done it yet. And just for a second, how are you doing physically? I'm going to ask you to go through these fast. Physically, how am I right now? It might be it might be neutral, or you might have something you can notice. And how am I emotionally, either with regard to my person or something totally different that I'm worried about? Am I emotionally afraid of a scan that's coming up for my person? Am I emotionally worried about one of my kids that that argued with me last night on the phone? It could be a lot of things emotionally that are there for me. And then do I have any narratives or stories about what's going to happen when I walk in the room? I've already decided in my own mind, this is how it's going to go. Okay. So uh, if you could open your eyes again, please. Yeah. So you can imagine in the grace practice, Joan Halifax is not suggesting that a busy doctor or nurse is going to spend 20 minutes on this. It's like, before you walk into the room, stop for a minute. Notice how you're doing physically, emotionally, mentally. After you walk in the room, in addition to all the physiological things you have to do, just stop. How's, how do I think my person's doing, my patient's doing in terms of their physical well-being, their emotions? Do I know they're scared? about an upcoming scan? Do I know that? I mean, that's going to affect how they talk to me and how they hear what I say. And do they have stories about me? And as a clinician, what might the stories be? It might have to do with how, for a clinician, it might have to do with how they look. If I walk in the room as a chaplain, there's an old lady. That's what they notice. And who knows? They may have all kinds of preconceptions about that. So this is all about seeing our way through that a little bit.